The so-called originalists are tearing the Constitution up. Check it out. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Anthony in St. Augustine, Florida. Hey, Anthony, what's in your mind? Hey, Tom. Um, yeah, I just occurred to me that, um, what do you call that, that, uh, that the discrimination, particularly against African-Americans, was not only immoral, but actually a violation of the 14th and 15th Amendments to the Constitution. So um, I was wondering if you would agree with me on that. It was actually. Um, Say that again. What, am I, what did I miss? Um, that the discrimination, particularly against African-Americans, was not only immoral, but actually a violation of the 14th and 15th Amendments to the Constitution. Oh, certainly. Certainly. And has been forever. I mean, this, this, is, this is why the Supreme Court saw fit in 1954 to over, overturn their own 1896 decision, the, the, uh, the Plessy versus Ferguson separate but equal decision of 1896 was overturned with Brown v. Board, as, as uh, Judge Barrett pointed out this morning in her questioning. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm completely with you. And the 14th mm -hmm. Amendment guarantees equal, equal protection under the law, and, and the law regulates commerce. Right? It's right there in the Constitution. And, and if discrimination is happening in commerce, I mean, this was, this was, the, it was the Commerce Clause, actually, that Lyndon Johnson used you know, to go after people in the South after, after 1964. Um, because, you know, he was saying, well, you've got ketchup in your, in your uh, diner that was made in Pennsylvania by Heinz and you're selling it. So you're engaged in interstate commerce so we can regulate you. Um, back to you, Anthony, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're absolutely right because the only amendment that was really repealed was prohibition. So, um, yeah. So it, it, yeah, it, and, it, and, it, and, then, and then the other thing is people, and, and, and I'm sorry, finish your point, Anthony, and then I'll, I'll go yeah, off yeah, on my mind here. Go, go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Okay, well, the point that I wanted to make is that it, uh, what we have heard repeatedly this morning, nobody's come out and said it in exactly these words, but essentially, and Anthony, thank you for the call, essentially what the Republicans have been saying, and they've been saying this for a long, long time, and Scalia and Thomas and Alito are solidly in this camp is that because the Constitution does not say women have a right to an abortion, therefore women don't have a right to an abortion. Because the Constitution does not say everybody has a right to vote, therefore everybody doesn't have the right to vote. And what they're doing when they say that is they're completely flipping the Constitution upside down. I refer you to the Ninth Amendment. The Ninth Amendment says the enumeration of the Constitution of certain rights, right, enumeration, listing, right, the, the list, numerical listing, one, two, three, four, five, the enumeration of the Constitution, in other words, the Constitution has said, you know, there are some things that, you know, government can do, there's some things government can't do, blah, 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 but the, this is the Ninth Amendment, the enumeration of the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others, other rights, retained by the people. Now, the Tenth Amendment goes on to say the same thing about the states. Basically, if the, if the federal government didn't grab this power, that power belongs to the state. But the Ninth Amendment that precedes it, that is more important than it in the minds of the people who wrote the Constitution, says if, if just because we did not grant a right to people in the Constitution does not mean they don't have that right. Government, you know, and, and so, you know, well, I, I, I think I've made my point. I mean, this is, this is just the insanity of these guys.